Friends and family of a missing 33-year-old are desperate to find her. That's right. Today they canvassed a large intersection in Oak Grove, and that is where we find KMBC 9's Brian Johnson tonight. Brian. Yeah, they were handing out flyers of Jennifer Dene. This is one of them. You can see it has several pictures of her as well as a description. They posted this one on a local business as well as several other businesses, and they were giving them out to cars as they came in and out of town. They gave out 300 in all to people along this street. Now, when Jennifer officially became missing earlier this week, actually about a week and a half ago, that's because her mom filed the missing persons report. She has actually, however, not been seen or heard from since September 2nd of last year. Now, friends say on occasion she would disappear for a couple of months, but she would always communicate with them. That has not been the case this time, and now they're starting to get worried and want her back. She was just bubbly and outgoing and funny. She's blonde and just full of energy, and she was curious. She wanted to know about this state. She wanted to, you know, she wanted to live here. Now, friends, those friends that we spoke with are the ones who helped her move from New England to the state of Missouri. They are doing everything they can, posting these flyers and getting the word out about missing Jennifer, and they're hoping you can keep an eye out to help track her down. Reporting live in Oak Grove, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News. Now, take another good look at this. This is Jennifer Donay. Police say she is 33 years old, 5 feet 3 inches tall. She has light brown hair, hazel eyes, and she has a flower tattoo on her left leg. If you have any information that can help, call the TIPS hotline.